Hey, hey, everyone, it's your Peacekeeper, and it is time for, yes, another video involving Battleship Hindenburg. And of course, this is the German Power Division, because we have two Grosser Gerfursts as well. The map is Shatter, and you can see him teamed up with Land Warrior and Ark from STW, and Land Warrior doesn't have his tags on. Anyway, uh, it's Hindenburg, like... Seriously, it's yet another Hindenburg video. Why is this video a thing? Because Hindenburg is amazing. And if if the recent video involving Hindenburg and it's how to play didn't convince you enough to go down this line, maybe this video will. Now, Shatter is an interesting map because the strategies for this are... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Chaotic? <laughs> That's probably the best way to word it. If, if, I, if I had to pick a, a, a descriptor word for it, chaotic is the word that I'm going to go for. Why? Well, it basically your team's strategy depends on their strategy. Our team is going to go ahead and go BC, although it, none of us have actually really agreed to go BC. In fact, this team manages to pull this out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, this is this is a really good game, though. In fact, we're going to get to see, uh, in my opinion anyway, we're going to get to see the uh, Hindenburg kind of strutter stuff up close and personal as opposed to the usual long-range spam HE and all the things. So that is that is totally a different play style than what is normally shown. Now, I've not changed anything. This is still the same captain from my how-to Hindenburg video. It's still the same setup for my how-to Hindenburg, and this just kind of shows the flexibility of that captain and the way I have it set up. Now, as we get closer and closer to C here, there's a couple of things to remember. C is almost always a destroyer haven. There is an island in the middle of it, which means don't go poking out around the sides without a lot of support, because their team is on the other side of it, and they will hurt you. Now, I'm kind of cutting it in a little close, and I'm, I'm, I was praying that our Atago would be the one to actually go and and uh, jump on into C, but, you know, he doesn't, which is fine. Well, he doesn't jump in there right away. Now, it seems a little counterproductive to try and shoot into said cap like that, but, hey... I, you know, I couldn't see the ship that was shooting at me, but uh, you, you sometimes get lucky. Now, that one I was able to spot where his shots came from, but he had moved. Now, Mr. Mozka is like, everyone on our team is unloading on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we took 7,500 off of him. But somebody else took a lot more than 7,500 off of him, though, I think. Oh, man. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that was the only one who really actually got any hits there. Z-52 doing his job laying smoke, which is awesome. We got our Atago here. And they've got theirs coming around the bend. Well, don't threaten me with a good time. We will launch torpedoes at that and see if maybe we can't get ourselves a lucky torpedo hit. Now, the torpedoes on Hindenburg are only 6k. But based on his angle and the direction that he was going... Quick check of the mini-map was able to tell me that, well, no, he, he probably will come that far. So, uh, well, maybe Montana shooting at me. What a jerk face. I could just ignore him. Now, oh, there I to go is turning away. What a jerk. Oh, well. We're gonna we're gonna keep going and we're gonna try and take advantage of anything that's presenting even a even a remotely close to broadside profile here and this is gonna take us on what I'm gonna call a, a fun adventure around these islands over here and normally I don't like in going to those Ooh, broadside Moska I don't like going to these match these the, this side of these islands because it takes you out of the fight at the cap but yeah, battleship Hindenburg showing what she's got what's 16k between friends. Convenient smoke cloud laid by the Fletcher. Absolutely clutch gameplay there by our destroyers. Switch to the... Well, no, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Not really a whole lot of... What's the Otago doing? I don't know. We'll go over here and see if we can't take out Niowa. 
well, by take out, what I really mean is harass him with AP fire and then HE fire to see if we can't start him on fire. But we're up to 28,200 some odd damage. We've sunk one of their ships and are ahead on points, but only just ahead on points. Wow, lots of shatters there. No fires. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Come on. 1650. Not really doing a whole lot of damage. You can do it. You can do it. I just know we can do it. Uh, four grand. All right. <laughs> well, doesn't look like we're going to get a fire on that one. So we're going to see if we can't, you know, deal with some of the things that are... Ooh, torpedoes. E uh, oh, look at that skill. Totally skill. Knew it was going to happen. Totally was at the right distance to make sure that it didn't take any major damage. Yeah, 100% skill. <laughs> no one believes that, right? It's probably a good thing that you don't. So once again, our whole team is... Oh, our whole team is basically uh, over here by these islands. We need to push. This this is not a good situation to be in. Things don't look particularly good. We're going to turn around and we're going to sail towards B because we need to deal with the guys that are coming through the B cap in order to win this. And if we don't, we don't take those people out. We're basically going to give up this fight. And I'm not interested in giving up this fight ever. That's just unacceptable to me. Now, the nice part is we do have a Montana over there that's showing pretty good broadsides. we got some other ships that are showing... Oh! Why, hello there, Mr. Iowa. Now, you definitely want to angle in towards them. And that's why. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. And an overpen. Now, I'm going to try and see if I can't sneak in here. Now, sneak, I'm using that term relatively loosely because, let's face it, uh, there's basically zero opportunity for me to do anything more to them than be able to hopefully get a torpedo off or something like that. Uh, switching here between tar different targets, trying to take out different targets while using the islands. Oh, torpedoes. Well, crap. At least we dodged the second set. Maybe we can get this Fletcher and take him out of commission. That would be super nice. 2300 damage there with our AP shells. He is starting to uh, wither to the fire, for lack of a better phrase. Oh, leaving him with, like, no hit points. That's unfortunate. We needed we needed, we needed, needed that kill in, in bad ways. Like, really bad ways. On the upside, we've managed to take ourselves out of all of this fire from the secondaries of the two Iowas hiding in the smoke. But more importantly, we put ourselves in position to go ahead and take advantage of this Mozka, who is currently sailing broadside. Well, not really broadside. He's angled to us, but he's sailing at enough of an angle that we're actually still getting normal penetrating hits. And you can see here, uh, we're going to back up a little bit. Hopefully we can get the kill. Yes. Awesome. So we've, we've managed to finish off the initial enemy of ours, which was Mr. Mozka. And try and deal with him. Now we have an Iowa. At that go. There's a Montana over there. Got ourselves a Minotaur up here. Man, things are just not looking to be really working our way. We don't have a cap. They have two. We're down about 150 points. And we need to make moves. And we need to make moves now. So I launched my fighter, and the reason why I launched my fighter there, and knowing full well that he was going to die with two Iowas there, I wanted to know where they were at, because if I could come around this corner and launch torpedoes, I might be able to take out this other Iowa, Mr. Real Macon 4. Yeah, that guy. Instead, not so much. But, hey, Mr. Fletcher's there, Mr. Iowa, there's an Iowa there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing good is going to come from what's about to happen, except for it's conveniently in a place where I cannot be hit, which is just awesome. <laughs> oh, man. And then on top of that, look at what our torpedoes are doing. I need one. I need one. Give me the torpedo hit. Yes. <laughs> We would have gotten more than one torpedo hit. Can we get a double strike? No, the island denies us total blockage there. 
the Atago is trying to shoot at me. That's cute. We do need to be careful of that Fletcher's torpedoes, but, uh, you know, ultimately we're going to end up capping C here, which is just awesome. Finally be able to cap. Very well played by this Atago player. He is definitely not a slouch when it comes to this. Just happens to get caught. And... Oh, nope, 1,500. See, the, the key to taking out those uh, uh, cruiser captains that are maneuvering like that is to wait for them to start their maneuver as they go more broadside to you. That's going to help pre present a more favorable profile. Now, at least we're winning the, the game of sink the enemy ships fast, but we're not sinking them fast enough to actually take advantage of what's going on here. Now this uh, Montana here, I figured maybe he'll come around this side since that's where all of our teammates are. Or aren't, I guess would be a better way of wording that. So we went ahead and we launched our torpedoes. Now I know that there's a Z-52 over here, so we definitely need to pay attention to him and make respect the fact that he's got torpedoes like those. Very conveniently dodged. Now oh, come on, shoot something. Now yeah, we'll, we'll just do that. Now... Since we're on our way through this way, well, we got secondary hits off on something. I wonder what that was. Hmm. <laughs> this is a good question. I don't know. But we do know that that uh, Grosser Curve first was on its way here, so once again, we're going to use our torpedoes. We're going to try and deny this uh, approach path. Now, you can see here what I'm kind of getting interested in. I'm looking over here, and I see a Montana, and I'm going, hmm. Montana... We got plenty of hit points. We're up to 75,730 damage. Oh, I'm being radared. I can't remember if that was a Missouri or what that was that was there, but managed to sneak into this island before getting taken out by uh, that grosser Kerfus that's over there. Maybe get some torpedo hits on him. That would be sweet. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, our left side torpedoes, we, we are still detected. We do still need to pay attention to what's going on around us. We got an Iowa over here as well. Now, I threw up that fighter once again for the same reason that I did on the other side. I need to know where these ships are at. I can't just go out here and, and assume that things are going to work out fine. Ark's here. He's backing up. And, oh, down goes the Minotaur. We don't want to launch torpedoes and hit Ark. A quick tap chat to him. Uh, allowed us to see kind of where these guys were going. Uh, trying to turn, trying to turn, trying to turn. Shoot to distract, shoot to distract, and... Uh, I have never... I just want to point this out. Never in the entire time I have ever shot at a Hindenburg that was broadside to me at these ranges, never successfully received a Citadel hit when playing a U.S. battleship. It has never happened. It is simply not possible. <laughs> uh, all right, so those torpedoes are out on him, but we've got a very distracted Iowa. We're angled to the Montana, which means that if he shoots at me, which I'm sure he will, um, like right there he does. We got a torpedo hit on him. Took off a huge chunk of, oh, we got two torpedo hits on him. Took off a huge chunk of the Iowa's hit point pool. Now, because we've done that, I am going to go and I'm going to turn where the Iowa was. And this is, one, going to break line of sight to anything that can possibly see me because I'm out of heels, which is uh, very disconcerting. <laughs> and uh, it allows me to get out of the incoming fire so that, like, that grosser curve first that's over there that's shooting at me that I was 99.99% .99 confident was going to kill me can't. Key points. Whew. All right, we're no... Oh, crap, we're detected again. And they're catching our... They're capping our cap over here. A quick shot over to there, just thinking that maybe that Z-52 popped around the corner, but I think what actually happened was is the Z-52 is in the... Um, in this channel. Again, wanting to pay attention to being shot at by this grosser cur first, making sure to present as little of a profile as possible to maximize the chance of him overpenning. We took 5,800 damage off of him, and that's uh, that's not too bad. I mean, we're, t we're talking about shooting at a tier 10 battleship with a lot of armor on its bow and stern. Still detected, though. 
Things are still kind of going bad because our whole team is now pushed into B, which is fine. The problem with pushing into B is we have zero caps, and unfortunately, we need to address that issue. I have no support. I've got a Grosser Curve first over here. I've got a Z-52 that's over here. That Fletcher is nearly dead. I wish somebody would poke him. Especially since his torpedoes are coming around the other way. And that, that fighter that is spotting me is really annoying. But I do know that they have they are no longer in cap. The two cruisers there are no longer in cap. Throw up my last fighter in the hopes that I can spot this uh, Kerr first, which I do quite conveniently. Now, this is a matter of timing. Now, look at what the, the indicator is doing. The indicator is going away from us. Once again, requesting support from teammates. The indicator is going away, and that's because he's turning. Watch the mini-map, watch the indicator on screen, and you'll notice when it starts to move again, so it's starting to turn, starting to speed up a little bit, what, there's two things going on there. One, he's speeding up. Two, he's turning towards this channel, which means that if he comes through this channel, he is in perfect position to be torpedo, but we need to also account for that and lead him correctly. So we've managed to cap it, and he now he is in it. So this means we're, we're, we're kind of flying blind over here. Ark is over there. He's going to hopefully spot him. That would be perfect. I, I wish he had his uh, spotting plane. Yes, okay, so he throws his, his plane up. Look at how that indicator is moving. That's going to tell you everything you need to know about where you need to place those torpedoes. Because he is speeding up, he's either turning towards us or turning away from us now. Those torpedoes are going to be very hard for him to dodge, which is just fantastic. One, got Confederate. Three, three torpedo hits. And we lose sight of him, which is fine. Other ships are finally coming back to help. But he exposes just enough of his bow here that uh, we, we're, we're going to be able to get some pretty heavy damaging hits. And he's turning those turrets. Yes! <laughs> Survival! 186,958 damage. Whew! <clears throat> that leaves us with a Z-52 to try and take out and a Fletcher. We have Confederate. We're probably going to get Dreadnought if we survive this. So we're, there's a lot on the line. But you can see how those torpedoes... The only thing that I would, recomm would recommend changing, like if I had to go through this again is that I, I would definitely recommend going... Oh, we're, we just lost Ark there to that Z-52. Um, I would recommend going back uh, and waiting just a little bit longer for that second set of torpedoes. I probably would have gotten more torpedo hits on him. Z-52 pops up for just a brief second. Quick pot shot at him. Down he goes! <laughs> 191,624. What is this? What is this Fletcher doing? There's a Kraken on the line. Can we get it? First salvo's out. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> There's a Kraken! <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, that's right, folks. You saw a Kraken. So look at the 10,149 XP, 948,532 credits. We got five kills, 2,653 base XP. I think there was a Dreadnought in there and just a Confederate, but five kills. We only got 30,000 damage and flooding. That's really not that bad. 1.5 million potential damage. There's a credits and XP screen. Love Hindenburg. It produces these games so consistently. It's disgusting. It's awesomely disgusting. Love the ship to death. You guys know that already. That's not a surprise. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this battle down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.